Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Pin4 Kaminal where we have well known experts and scholars ready to guide you. So today in the video, we will learn about the fundamental steps in digital image processing. When we consider an image, all the fundamental process will not be applied to the image. Therefore, it is helpful if we divide the materials of digital image processing into two broad categories. That is, methods which is characterized by the fact that both input and output are images. Next, methods whose input may be images but output are the attributes extracted from the images such as edges, contours and identity of individual objects. Fundamental steps helps us to convey an idea of all the methodologies that can be applied to the image for different purpose and possibly with a different objective. Next we will see the block diagram which shows the fundamental steps involved in digital image processing. Here knowledge about a problem domain is coded into an image processing system in the form of knowledge base. The first step is image acquisition, image enhancement, image restoration, color image processing, wavelets and multi-resolution processing, compression followed by morphological processing. Till these steps the output of these methods will be an images. But after this that is segmentation, representation and description and finally object recognition. Here output of these steps are generally attributes extracted from the images. Now let us know about all these steps in detail. Image acquisition is the first step in the process because without an image we cannot do any type of processing. The image that is acquired in this step is completely unprocessed. Hence, in image acquisition, pre-processing such as scaling is done. It could be as simple as getting an image in digital form. If it is not in digital form, we have to convert it using a digital converter. Hence, it is used to retrieve or acquire an image from an hardware source, generally from a sensor or from different cameras. Now let us look into the next step that is image enhancement which is the most simplest and appealing step in digital image processing. Image enhancement is the process of adjusting the digital image so that results are more suitable for display or it can be used for further analysis. The primary idea behind enhancement technique is to bring out the details that is obscured or simply to highlight certain features of an image. For example, increasing the brightness, contrast or sharpening adjustment or noise removal in an image to make it look more pleasing. It is subjective area of image processing which means that some people like natural color but some people prefer high saturation images. Hence, Image enhancement is subjective in nature which differs from person to person. The next step in digital image processing is image restoration. It is the process of recovering an image that has been degraded. After identifying the degraded process, it will be reversed. Image restoration is the operation of taking a corrupt or noisy image and estimating the clean original image. Corruption may come in many forms such as motion, blur, noise or it may be also because of the camera misfocus. This step is completely objective in nature which means that restoration techniques tend to be based on mathematical or probabilistic modules of image degradation. Image restoration is performed by reversing the process that blurred the image. It also deals with improving the appearance of the image. The next step is colored image processing. It's a part of image processing which handle processing of colored images either as indexed images or as RGB images. 
This area has been gaining importance because of the significant increase in the use of digital images over the internet. Here, color is used as a basis for extracting the features of interest in an image. It is of two types that is pseudo color image processing and full color image processing. In pseudo color image processing, we assign grayscale values based on specific criteria. Intensity slicing and color coding is one of the simplest kinds of pseudo color image processing. And the next type is full color image processing. It is divided again into two categories. In first category, each component of an image has to be processed individually and then a composite image or a composite processed color image will be formed. And in the second category, we can work directly with the color pixels. We will move into the next step in digital image processing that is wavelets and multi-resolution processing. Here wavelets are nothing but small waves of limited duration which are used to calculate wavelet transform and it provides the time frequency information of an image. Wavelets mathematical function leads to multi-resolution processing which serves as a foundation to represent the image in various degrees of resolution. They can detect and filter white Gaussian noise due to their high contrast of neighboring pixel intensity values. Using these wavelets, a wavelet transformation is performed on two-dimensional image and they are further used for image data compression or for pyramidal representation in which images are subdivided successfully into smaller regions. Now we look into the next step that is image compression. Data storage is a very important part of the system providing the most significant function of retaining the information. Thus, compression mainly includes techniques in order to reduce the storage required to save an image or the bandwidth required to transmission. If the size of the image is large, then it uses more bandwidth during transmission and hence Compression can be used to reduce the bandwidth as well as the storage requirement. It can be either lossy or lossless compression. Lossy compression is a method of data compression in which the size of the file is reduced by eliminating data in the file. In doing so, image quality is sacrificed in order to decrease the file size. Next is the lossless compression. Lossless compression means that as the file size is compressed, the picture quality remains the same and it does not get worse as shown in the second image. Now let's move to the next technique of digi digital image processing that is morphological processing. It includes tools for extracting image components that are useful in the representation and description of shape and boundary of the object. It's a collection of non-linear operations related to the shape or morphology of features in an image. A morphological operation on a binary image will create a new binary image in which the pixel has a non-zero value only if the test is successful at that location in the input image. It includes basic morphological operations such as erosion and dilation. It is mainly used in automated inspection application. As said before, from this step, the output will be image attributes and not the images. Let's look into the next step in fundamentals, uh, that is segmentation. The process of partitioning into multiple segments or into its constituent parts is called as segmentation. It is generally used to locate the boundaries of an object. In general, we can say the autonomous segmentation is one of the most difficult steps in digital image processing because a proper segmentation procedure will bring the process towards successful solution of imaging problems and if it requires objects to be identified individually, then segmentation is a very important step. 
we can also say that the more accurate segmentation more likely recognition is to be succeed so in this we have different types of segmentations where semantic segmentation where the background and the image will be deferred followed by the instant segmentation where the background and the recognized images differ in colors now we will see the next step that is representation and description representation deals with converting the data into a suitable form for computer processing and it is mainly of two types because of which decision should be made initially whether we want to represent the data as a boundary or we have to represent it as a complete region in the two types we will see the first type that is boundary representation it is used when the focus is on external shapes such as corners or inflections of an image in the second type that is regional representation it is used when the focus is on internal properties such as texture or skeletal shape of an image description is also called as feature selection which deals with extracting attributes of an image and these attributes result in extraction of some quantitative information of interest and these attributes are mainly used to differentiate one class of objects from another now we will look at the last step of digital image processing that is object recognition it is the process of assigning a label to the object in an image based on its description for example if the object within an image is a bus after this process it has to assign it a label as bus which conveys the information that bus is present in the image now let's look into the another important topic in fundamentals that is knowledge base knowledge about a problem domain will be coded into the image processing system in the form of knowledge base all the information that is required to process an image will be present within this knowledge base for instance this knowledge base can be as simple as detailing the regions of an image where the information of interest will be known or else this knowledge base can be quite complex such as interrelated list of major possible defects in an image database which contain high resolution satellite image so it is mainly dependent on the application also the knowledge base will control the interaction between the models this was all about the fundamental steps in digital image processing after this video i hope you are able to answer questions such as what is an image acquisition we also studied about image enhancement and restoration we studied about color image processing wavelets and multi resolution processing and we also got to know about image compression and morphological processing we studied about segmentation representation and description and finally about object recognition so in the upcoming video we will learn about the basics of python and also how to install python in detail If you have any queries then drop a mail to kamilal@pinko.in or reach us on 9686963065 to become volunteer member try to drop down to below location Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next session